Mr. Speaker, proper hygiene and safe food handling and preparation practices are key to preventing the spread of E. coli. Hand washing is one of the best ways to prevent the spread of foodborne illnesses. And I encourage all parliamentarians, I, I know I'm hearing a fair amount from my colleagues from the Liberal Party, I think it's extremely important that every Canadian understands that hand washing is the best way to prevent spread of foodborne illnesses. Questions and comments, the Honourable Member for Vancouver Centre. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, I, I, I really, this, this particular member spoke about her expertise as a physician, and she also said that she was placing the facts on the table. So I wanted to ask her about those facts, and I wanted to ask her about her expertise as a physician. We heard a wonderful lecture about public health and epidemiology here. That's not helping the people who are now ill. And I think the Honourable Member should know that as a physician you are judged by the outcomes, not by what you hope to do, not by what you know in your head, but on the outcomes of your patient's health. People are sick. That is a poor outcome for something that was said to be so wonderful. You don't get sick if you did the right job. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that the Honourable Member told us about washing one's hands was important for people to know. Is the Honourable Member telling me that if people had washed their hands, they would not get E. coli from the beef? What a ludicrous suggestion from anybody who knows anything about science. But the final thing I want to know is, there is a protocol, there is clear legislative authority, and the minute a foodborne illness affects humans, and the minute it crosses one provincial boundary or an international border, Public health agency and the Minister of Health has to get involved. They have not. They have done no surveillance. They have done absolutely nothing until yesterday. Why? The Honourable Parliament.